Hi, greetings from Ireland. Looking a bit disheveled, but this is what traveling does to you. So I just want to say hi. I've landed safely and I am now in Dublin in Ireland. And what a day. It definitely didn't go as I planned and it is what it is. These things happen. Just glad to be feeling a bit better. So the way that the day started is it was Tato's birthday and we had incredible plans at Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. If you guys have been watching my channel long enough, you'll know how much I absolutely love the culinary arts. I love trying new food. I love going to restaurants that offer and serve incredible food. And Heston was one of my big treats on the trip. But unfortunately, when I got there, I was incredibly sick. I had to cancel all the meals that I had planned and the food that I did try to eat, I just, I could not keep it down. So I'm just glad I made the executive decision to just not, you know, even try and eat. So yeah, this is essentially where we are. I'm feeling much better. And I have very limited footage of Heston. We had a private kitchen tour, which is amazing. And I think I filmed some of that and I'll add that. It's going to be a different menu, so these are going to be a little bit different. Yes, the difference is that is, you can see the Okay, so as I'm still saying, the plan for this leg, it's quite a quick one, but it's going to be an incredible one. I am going to be staying with um, some family friends of mine that I've known for probably over a decade, almost two, and um, I haven't seen them since literally pre-COVID. They came to like they relocated to Ireland, and then they've come to South Africa to visit a few times, but um, not all that much. And now they have a beautiful son, so I'm excited to see him and it will be my first time actually meeting him. So keen for that. And then you are going to be seeing some faves as well. I don't know if it will be one or if it's two. It really is time dependent. But one of your faves by the name of Oops is going to be on the channel, so look out for that. Um, that will be around, I think, Monday or we might see her tomorrow depends on the schedule but I'm very excited about that because it's going to be my absolute first time meeting Oops and I know it's going to be a vibe um, and yeah that's essentially it oh yes my childhood friends put an itinerary together for me end to end all expenses paid and that literally I just couldn't believe it when they told me that this was happening yesterday and I just feel inc so incredibly so incredibly blessed to have friends that literally are like family now so I just wanted to say a huge thank you to them on the channel as well before we start this leg um, yeah guys I was honestly like taken aback and just truly really appreciate this incredible and immense gesture so not only will they be taking me around but they've covered everything for this leg and I feel like that's so wild and I'm just so blessed so um, just looking forward to that itinerary and what we're going to be getting up to is going to be quite a busy one especially because there aren't that many days that i'll be spending here so trying to fit quite a few things in but yeah i'll take you guys through as much as i can so it looks like outside at the moment i've been told that it's drizzling so it's quite wet um, but i do have my rain jacket because i came prepared i've been tracking the weather of the next two countries one of them which i'm already in for weeks now so I'm kind of familiar with um, the situation so I did come prepared and I just hope it won't stop um, the activities that we have planned over the next few days but yeah I think that's all I have to say at the moment um, just going to try and find them because they are almost at the airport so I'm now at terminal one waiting for Lynn She's at Terminal 2, so I'm not sure which side she's going to come from, but I definitely am trying to film her unawares. But I've got a sneaky feeling that she's going to catch me unawares, which is going to be really awkward. So let's wait and see um, where she's going to come from. You know, it's funny, she said to me, don't move, I'm coming to you. And what does Tukho do? Tukho moves. 
Anyway, this airport is really cool. Like, it's such a vibe. Um, I've actually never been to Ireland in my entire life, so it feels so... It feels like I'm in a different place, like for sure, 100% feels different. Okay, I'm gonna walk back to where I said I was. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I can get on camera while she's coming. <laughs> I found her! I found her! <laughs> Good morning, guys. So we are in, I think it's called Kildare Village, or I don't know, but it's essentially like a Vista village equivalent in Ireland that Linda sent me through and we're just going to be spending a bit of time this morning just walking through the different boutiques getting a feel and a vibe of how this fares. I've never been to Vista but I've watched a lot of vlogs where people talk about Vista and I can see the vibe as you guys can also see it's an hour out from where we stay so we had a bit of a drive but I'm so excited and so keen to see what stores they have and what 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 products they have and what stock they have. There's some things that I have my eye on. Um, mostly wearables, not really bags. So I just want to see if they have anything in here. And yeah, I'm super excited. It's quite windy. It's quite a windy uh, morning, but I've got my weatherproof jacket. This is the Uted. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along on the journey as much as possible. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys can hear me because I know it's quite windy. But yes, today we've got Kilda Village. We've got quite a few things um, on the itinerary. Um, we've got a Guinness beer tour as well, which is going to be fun. Tomorrow we've got a cruise and a dinner with the cruise. So there's a lot that we're going to essentially be doing. And I'm going to take you through as much as possible. So yeah, enjoy. Okay, so I'm doing a quick day tour out to the Guinness storehouse and this is essentially where the Guinness beer is being made so I'm very excited to see what happens here. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is essentially what I'm walking towards. I'm going to try and film as much as possible. Hopefully I can film a lot and take you guys on the journey and yeah, let's go.
afternoon guys it is a rainy day up in Ireland and today we are at Power Courts Gardens I think I think that's what this place is called and I am with my friends Lynn and Dogazo and Baby and we are essentially walking down the gardens and we have two things on the agenda today we've got that as a first thing on the agenda well this is the first thing on the agenda and we just had like a quick breakfast here and then next we are going to go to the Van Gogh Museum there were a few things that we had we had a cruise as well um, but because of the weather and how it's been raining we've had to cancel that or oh, they actually cancelled it because they said the, the tide was a bit too high <clears throat> so I don't think I will actually be able to go on that because of the limited time that I have here so that's a bit of a bummer but because I'm pretty sure it would have been very very nice so I'm just going to take you through what the gardens look like. This has been rated the top three gardens in the entire world um, by Nat Geo. So that's saying something, right? So you guys are in for a treat. I'm just going to walk around, show you guys how it looks. It's giving Versailles, but um, a less colonizing. <laughs> so let's see. It's also a bit rainy, so hopefully my phone won't get damaged. And hopefully I can capture the beauty and it's not masked by the elements that we are currently experiencing but I must say having been in Ireland the weather is wild it's wild the sun's about to come up this is crazy it's crazy you can actually see it getting a bit brighter yeah the sun is gonna come out but uh yeah let's go let's go enjoy So we are now at the RDS Hall and we just came out of the Van Gogh exhibition and oh my gosh it was so incredible um, you guys will see with the footage it was basically just like this whole thing with like lights and it was like a light show and it was showing all of Van Gogh's artwork and now we're trying to get a photo by the flower wall over there it's so pretty this place is so beautiful honestly it's absolutely stunning and then we went into this um room with lights it's called the infinity room which is over there and there's like a light display as well it's kind of like an optical illusion because the room looks much bigger than it is i actually almost walked into the wall but um yeah all good fun so i'm going to show you guys all of the footage and yeah <laughs>
Girl, hey. <laughs> And just like that guys, my time in Dublin was up and it was time for me to jet off to the next destination. So if you're keen to find out where I went to next, stay tuned to the channel.